an explosion in a gunpowder factory shakes up a New Jersey town. Explosions ripped through a New Jersey gunpowder factory this morning. The blast at the Hercules Powder Plant in Roxbury Township injured at least 12 people. Glass was shattered in buildings as far as five miles away. Trees were flattened and damage was reported in most homes near the plant. Investigators are trying to determine the cause of the blast. Pan Am and an American teenager... One was killed in one of the most powerful explosions in years at Hercules Powder Plant in Roxbury, New Jersey, a Morris County community of 18,000 people northwest of New York City. Company officials say about 50 people were on duty just after 5 o'clock when the blast went off. Plant worker Alvin Parrish was hauling powder inside a bunker when one of his co-workers pushed a button. He just pushed the button, everything just went up. You were near him at that time? Yeah, we were inside the bunker. If we weren't in the bunker, I wouldn't be here talking to you. What were people doing? What were you they hearing? Were trying to, people were trying to hit, hit for, uh, hit for uh, cover. They were trying to uh, get out of the way. There were three explosions. Injured workers were rushed to Dover Hospital. Eight treated and released, three admitted. Their injuries are not serious. They're not life-threatening. Um, facial cuts and things like this from fragments that uh, were moving around during this incident. The powerful blast jarred homes and businesses for miles around. Local residents packed a morning news conference at the municipal building trying to find out why it happened. But plant manager Dick Best could not give them many answers at the time. It was a chain reaction, yes, but I don't know how or why. I mean, that's what we're, we're going to try to determine. Four of the 300 buildings on the property were flattened or burned, others structurally damaged. Many describe this as the worst accidental blast at the plant since 1940, when more than 50 people were killed. Joe Wean was there. Now in retirement, he lives right next to the plant. This morning's blast triggered memories of 49 years ago. Most of the, where the area was, everything was flattened. And where we were, it, I was just in front of a double door, and the trunk chester caught me and took me out through the back wall of the building. As investigators look for the cause, questions are being raised about safety on the sprawling 1,200-acre facility. The plant manager insists every precaution is taken for local residents and for the workers. We have a very good safety record. Up until today, we have, we have gone seven years, over seven years, without a, uh, a serious injury. Investigators from the State Department of Environmental Protection, OSHA, and other agencies have been here today to take a look at the damage. They didn't find any problems, but they will likely be back next week for a closer look. Meanwhile, Hercules is putting together its own team of investigators to determine the cause of the blast. The plant will be open Monday, but no gunpowder will be manufactured. Employees who report to work will be asked to help with the cleanup. In Roxbury Township, Randall Pinkston, Channel 2 News. As residents the damage from the plant explosion, the mayor of Roxbury has declared a state of emergency in the township. Our team coverage continues now with Channel 2's J.J. Gonzalez, who reports that four out of every five businesses in the area suffered damage from that blast. The multiple explosions at the Hercules powder plant not only blew away buildings at the site, it also blew away windows for miles around the plant. Arthur Salvatino never slept past 5.15 this morning. It was a frightening feeling, the uh, first explosion. And, well, I think there was four altogether, and it just shook the whole house, and everyone was shook up. And store owners all over the area were cleaning up the debris of square yard upon square yard of plate glass blown out of their storefronts. The same thing happened to Kathy Lucy's gift shop, filled to the ceiling with fragile bric-a-brac. I'm very lucky that the inside of the store is absolutely perfect, except where the ceiling blew out in the back. This building, which sits right next to the Hercules powder plant, suffered some structural damage. But the main problem for the store owners is simply getting glass. Hopefully, they said either uh, tomorrow afternoon or Monday, most likely Monday, because these are oversized windows. That's the, our major problem, is the window size. Can't get all of the glass on the weekends. Okay, so they know all oversized them. lights. I have glass, but not big enough to cover these pieces here. The only thing left to do was to board the windows up. Some still had hopes of doing business, although that may not be on the minds of potential customers. What now? I'm trying to get my stomach calmed down here. <laughs> it's still nervous. And perhaps thank goodness that most of what was lost is replaceable. J.J. Gonzalez, Channel 2 News. A new chapter in the... Terry Peltz was in Roxbury to survey the damage. I thought perhaps a bomb had been dropped. It was definitely an earthquake because we felt the house move. It was really hard to figure out exactly what it was, and it was very frightening. 
That's the way residents of Roxbury, New Jersey, described this morning's explosion at the Hercules Powder Company, an explosives manufacturer in northern New Jersey. While it doesn't look like much from the street, take a look at the town. The damage is extensive, mostly broken glass from the impact of the explosion. According to the mayor, the cause of this morning's explosion is unknown, and the damage at the plant is extensive. Four or five buildings were basically destroyed, uh, extensively damaged, and probably uh, three or four other buildings were severely damaged. Uh, as far as the actual cause of the problem, uh, Hercules is analyzing the situation right now. Roxbury Township consists of 200,000 people and covers 22 square miles. At a news conference early this morning, Roxbury was declared a disaster area. Just about 80% of all the businesses in the township have suffered damage. Uh, there is widespread damage to the residential areas throughout the township. Townspeople filled the Roxbury Town Hall, trying to figure out exactly what happened. Most were panicked as they were woken by breaking glass and the sounds of an explosion. I was laying in bed, and um, all I heard was this big boom, and the windows were shaking, and I saw this big flash outside. I didn't know what it was, so I just started screaming. Our front window blew out, our door blew open, uh, frames came off the, the wall. You know, very frightening. In the town itself, stores were closed, trying to repair the damage. The cause of this morning's explosion is under investigation. In the meantime, examiners from Hercules headquarters are on their way to Roxbury to help assess the damage. Police are asking for anyone with damage to report it to them immediately. Perry Peltz, News 4, New Jersey. And officials in Roxbury say today's explosions also killed hundreds of small animals.